Georgia Senate runoffs also a big topic in Washington. Jeff Hollinger spoke with NBC's Chuck Todd about it all. Vice President Mike Pence, the latest political heavyweight to get involved in the Georgia Senate races for the U.S. Senate as he made two stops in the state today campaigning for Senators David Perdue and Kelly Leffler. Joining me right now, Chuck Todd, the czar, the moderator of Meet the Press. Chuck, we've already seen a handful of Republican senators visit here since Election Day. The vice president today, senator from Iowa, is here on Monday. How about the level of confidence right now that Republicans can win at least one of these two runoffs and maybe both? Well, you know, it's interesting, Jeff, is that they're pursuing a strategy that I think is highly risky. And I actually had a Republican strategist was talking to you earlier this week, who is nervous about the decision of Purdue and Leffler to run as a ticket. Um, because you bring up an important point. They only need one. And the if you play to win one, which is you let Leffler and Purdue run their own races, winning one is easy. In a weird way, winning two is much harder. And, and so what this strategist was concerned about is, okay, you know, Purdue all of a sudden it, by pairing up with Leffler, does Purdue now have to answer for some of Leffler's negatives? Um, and it brings back the stock issue that he had sort of separated himself a little bit more than it did from Leffler, and it brings it back. So I can tell you there's a lot of folks who think this is a high-risk strategy, but there's others who tell me what choice did the Republicans have. It is They, they kind of have to run as a ticket here. But doing this means they're more likely, it's more likely how they win them both but it also makes it easier to lose them both. I did a one-on-one -on -one interview a couple of days ago with the Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger here, and he talked about the pressure that the president's been putting on him. Yeah. And we know the president's been putting pressure on Governor Kemp here in Georgia as well. Is there a longer game plan here with the president as far as Georgia goes? What I think the president is doing here is that I think now, I think voters are gonna expect their candidates perhaps, for Secretary of State to say, no, we will make sure we'll be willing to step in if we think one side should win over the other or some version of that. That's the real concern here. Look, Donald Trump's doing this to just protect his own ego. He doesn't have some larger nefarious reason to cling to power other than ego. But what if somebody a lot brighter and a lot more sort of focused um, decides they don't want to leave office? And, and are more adept at looking for these levers that might keep them there. I think that's the real concern about, about the conditioning that's happening right now. Meet the Press Air Sunday morning here on 11 Alive at 10. Chuck, thanks. Have a great weekend.